What's up, my dudes? Bear Hams here, and welcome to Bank It Like Beckham. Next year, Inter Miami will be the 25th team in the MLS, and our goal for this series is to get them the MLS Cup in their first year. Before we start signing some crazy players on pre-contracts, let's go through the rules. Now, we will have to abide by the MLS rules of conduct. 30 players, eight of them can be international, and we can only have three designated players, which means players that have uh, wages over $10,000 a week. Now, because David Beckham does have some influence on Don Garber, the commissioner, he's going to push that up to four. So in this save, we will have four designated players to lead us, hopefully, to MLS Cup. First thing I want to do is I want to get all the U.S. players out of the way and set up a solid foundation when we hit the ground running in 2020. And it shows we already uh, picked up three center backs, Ventura Alvarado from Nexaca, and we brought Steve Birnbaum from DC United. And then we got Matt Beasler, who has played in a couple World Cups, uh, got him from Sporting KC, got uh, JC Gallo from Duisburg in the second tier of German football. Then we got Campbell from Seattle Sounders. Emmanuel Spicy Sabi. This is the guy I brought from the Danish League. I uh, played against him a couple times in my Nordic Academy save. And he is lightning quick. Already at the age of 20, has a sprint speed of 91 and an acceleration of 90. What I'm going to do is I'm going to train up his technical stats. And I think... Once we uh, get to our first game, he's going to be a solid winger because he can play wing positions and the striker position as well. We also got Decevio Payne from Excelsior for a, a swap deal from one of our players. Uh, we, we do have Orlando Pirates as our default team, but I will be, uh, you know, with some uh, post-production magic, we will be Inter Miami. Also got uh, Darlington Nagby. He will be coming on a free transfer from Atlanta United. And we got Dax McCarty, the veteran, on a free transfer as well from Chicago Fire. And then we brought in Brooks Lennon, a former Liverpool Academy product from Real Salt Lake for a price of $2.7 million. Our second transfer window was even more impressive. We got Alexander Butner, a 30-year-old left back from Batiste for $5.5 million. This was a very crafty sale due to the fact we got him for $9.9 thousand dollars a week wage, which means he's not a designated player. And he is 73 overall, so I think that is a pretty solid signing for the club. And then we also got Bakari Jada, a Gambian left mid from Hamburg for $2.7 million. He'll help back up uh, a guy that we will show later. We also got Jackson Yule from San Jose for $2.5 million. Already has 72 overall. He's a pretty solid prospect. And then we got uh, some more midfielders. Uh, Derek Jones from Philadelphia Union for $2.05 million. And then to uh, help fill out the goalkeeping slots, we got Alex Bono for $1.7 million from Toronto FC. And we got William Yarborough from Club Leon for $1.2 million. And then this is where the fun begins. Our first designated player, Sergio Ramos. Yes, he is, uh, I think we got him for like $300,000 a week. Yeah, a whole shit ton of money. He is going to help bolster up that back four. And I think he'll probably be our captain too. He is just going to be one mean bastard at the back. And then... Uh, we got uh, Javier Chicharito Hernandez on another free transfer. And this signing out of all of our designated player signings does make the most sense. He has been linked to the MLS before. I remember a couple of years ago, Will Ferrell was trying to speak Spanish to him, pleading to be uh, one of his designated players. But they got Carlos Vela, and they're doing just fine at the moment. And so we got him as our striker. And then probably the best signing, I know... We have a bunch of 90-rated players on our side. Well, that's another hint. Uh, Hulk. He is 79 overall, and because of uh, some sweetening of the deal, we got him a $3 million signing bonus. Excuse me, And that means we got him a wage of $9.9 no, yeah, $9 a week, which means he is not a designated player, but he has designated player stats. So welcome to the club, Hulk. And then, this is probably the best one, Eden Hazard. We, uh, yeah, he was on a pre-contract, signed him up. And, you know, he's linked to uh, going to Real Madrid at the end of the season. 
But, you know, in this, in this universe, in this realm of uh, reality, uh, he's just going to take a quick break from European football to play with uh, David Beckham's Miami FC. And then finish it off, another solid player from the Premier League, Christian Eriksen from Spurs. Last bit of business before we start the season, we had the Super Draft. And the guys that we drafted were Carson Williams, a goalkeeper, 59 overall. Donald Wilson, 61 overall. Adam Sullivan, 61 overall. And Wayne Morgan, 59 overall. Now, we're probably not going to see these guys play unless we make the U.S. Open Cup Final, which I'll have all the backup players play. But, you know, anything can happen. Any of our top guys might get injured, and you might see some of these young bucks in the starting 11. Now, we also had a, another signing, and it was a transfer. We got Ozzy Alonzo in a deal with Minnesota United. We sent Dax McCarty to the uh, land of 10,000 lakes, as we have, yes, Ozzy Alonzo, a Cuban. And uh, I did that for a reason. Since Miami is so close to the country of Cuba, sign him up. And uh, he will be our starting CM along with Christian Eriksen. So this will be our lineup moving forward. Up top, we will have Chicharito. And on the wings, we'll have Azard and Hulk. And then in the center mid region, we'll have Ozzy Alonso paired up with Christian Eriksen. And then as our wingbacks, we'll have Alexander Butner as well as Brooks Lennon. And then in the back three, it is Ventura Alvarado, Sergio Ramos, and Matt Beasler. And then in the net is Alex Bono. And then on the bench, we'll have Jackson Ewell, Derek Jones, Bakari Jada, Campbell, Yarborough, Sabi, and Decevio Payne. And then our backup backup guys are Birnbaum, JC Gallo, Darlington Nagbe, which I'll probably put him as a super sub for Ozzy Alonso, uh, we have Sullivan, Williams, Wilson, and Morgan to finish out the Inter-Miami squad. Before I start simulating the entire season, we will play one game just to get a feel for these players, and it will be against Atlanta United at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Quite honestly, I have no clue how this game is going to go. Either we are going to absolutely dismantle Atlanta United, or it's going to be a very boring draw. We'll just have to pretty much watch and see as Pini Martinez does get a cross in. Good play by Sergio Ramos to get out. And then here is the Cuban captain, Ozzy Alonso. I see you find Chicharito down on the wing to Escobar. There is another cross. It's going to find Barco. Barco with the cross in the box. There's a header. Oh, my God. That is all. I don't Who was number five? That's Beasler. Beasler completely screwed up that corner cross. And... Just like that, we're down. Unbelievable. This is not our first official game. I did simulate one off camera where we did play DC United and destroyed them by a score of 4-0. I don't know if that's going to be the norm for the entire season, but that's what I'm hoping. So we have about five or so minutes left in this first half. No score from any of our top players yet. Good pass by Azard gets it to Butner. Butner cuts in, tries to get a pass, and he will get that to Chicharito. Chicharito to Alonzo. Alonzo finds Hulk. Hulk shoots. Hulk scores. We get the equalizer here from the Brazilian. As a great, great pass by Ozzy Alonzo finds Hulk. And our superhero in black gets us the first goal. One last chance here, possibly. Azart, will he get it? Yes, he will. Azart in the box, cuts back. Finds an option, takes a shot, oh, great shot, and it will be saved by Guzan, but we will have a corner attempt here. It's Hulk, he's gonna throw it in the box, see what happens here. Alonzo from distance, ah, oh, doesn't get the velocity that I wanted on it, but at the end of the half, we do get on the board, thanks in part to a beautiful pass from Alonzo to Hulk, and now we have another 45 minutes to hopefully Add another three points to this campaign. So he did have a solid run through the defense. Great heads up play by Lennon. As Hulk will find Alonzo. Alonzo to his partner, Erickson. Back to Alonzo. Alonzo to Erickson. Erickson with a screamer. Oh, that's why we brought him in. Christian Erickson from a long ways out gets us the lead. And it's Ozzy Alonso once again with an assist. He has been a great addition to the side so far. 
happy I made that last-minute deal for uh, him to switch out uh, Dax McCarty. Yeah, Guzan, not even in his uh, better playing days in the Premier League, would uh, get that shot. And I think it's time to start pouring it on this Atlanta United side. Ah, it's going to be a foul on us. They will get the advantage, Carlton to Ambrose. Back to Carlton. If we can just get a stoppage of play here so we can get some new feet on the board. Catch. That's probably going to be it, unless they're going to give Atlanta United a chance. Barco going in the corner. Great tackle by Alvarado, and that will finish it. What a terrible game by Inter Miami. I thought we had it for a sec. We had that beautiful goal by Erickson. We were sitting just fine, but then in the last seconds, it's Sergio Ramos screwing it up. He's probably thinking, you know what? This is going to be a good payday. Play here for a couple years and then uh, ride off into the sunset. And, yeah, I was not too impressed with our uh, newest signings, though. I would have to say our best player is Ozzy Alonso, the 34-year-old Cuban, two assists to his name. Pretty much the reason why we had a lead in the first place, and I'm hoping the simulation will uh, will show a different side to this team, a side that I think will bring David Beckham's Inter Miami to the MLS Cup final. We have hit the midpoint here, and we are absolutely dominating as of right now. 19 games, 48 points. We have a 12-point lead over Columbus Crew. And look at that goals for 44. We are absolutely clobbering the league at this point as we'll take a look at uh, the top scores in the league. We do have Christian Erickson sitting at the top with 10 goals. He is tied with Josh Zardes of Columbus Crew. And then we can take a look. Oh my God, Brooks Lennon with eight, Hulk with seven, bunch of guys in the top 15. Uh, any stragglers? Oh yeah, Emmanuel Sabi with six. It's probably a super sub. That's why he's doing so hot. And then Azard with five. Top assists, Erickson, who's... Man, he's been insane. Eight assists in 19 matches. What else do we have? Anyone? Okay, we have Azard with three. And that's it for that. And then Bono is sitting pretty in second place with eight clean sheets in 19 appearances. Just behind Zach Steffen. Finishing off the regular season, we continued to clobber the competition. As in 34 games, we won 25 when we only lost one with a goal differential of 50. And because we had the most points out of both the Eastern and the Western Conference, we did win the Supporter Shield. So if we don't win the MLS Cup at the end of this episode and at the end of this series, it'll be okay just to know that we absolutely clobbered the league. Looking at the top players in the league, Erickson lost his top spot as uh, the top scorer. He only had 16 goals in 34 matches. And then we do have a couple stragglers here, Azard and Hulk, both with 11 goals. Surprising for Hulk, he only played 24 games. And those are the only players from Inter Miami to make uh, the top 25. And then for assist, we have Erickson with 12, solid lead over Carlos Vela. And then Sergio Ramos with six, which is pretty surprising. We also have Azard with, he has five. And then no more stragglers. And then Bono still just one clean sheet behind Zach Steffen. But nonetheless, that is a good campaign. For the top team in the Eastern Conference, we will have a break. And we only get to play the uh, semifinals, as we'll start with the away fixture in Toronto. Where we do get the victory, Hulk and Emmanuel Sabi getting the goals. So we're looking good coming into the second leg of this Western Conference semifinal. And I'm hoping we just don't lose out in the, uh, in the, I mean, either the semifinals or the finals. That would just be a terrible way to end this, like, one-off episode series. We do have an injury, though. That's not good. Who, oh, Alonzo. He had a... Got himself a red, so we will put in Ewell for uh, for our Cuban captain. I'll have to make sure to make him as the captain. If you don't know who Ozzy Alonso is, he is an impressive holding midfielder. He played for Seattle Sounders for 10 years, captained them to a just one MLS Cup, but a bunch of uh, U.S. Open Cups. And currently he does play for Minnesota United, so I do have a soft spot for him at the moment. So now it's, how are we going to do against Columbus? 
Now, of course, Columbus uh, was barely saved by the Haslam family, the team that does own the Cleveland Browns. So the crew will stay, though I don't really get why. Like, they're not getting the uh, numbers for attendance as they should be, as we do get the victory here. Way goal, thanks in part to Christian Erickson. But we did get an injury. Beasler, a little bit of a knock. So we will put in Birnbaum, who's actually better than Matt Beasler. So now we just can't slip up here. And we don't. We will go through on 3-1 aggregate as Lennon and Emmanuel Sabi once again with a goal. As we will be in the MLS Cup Final. What a great way to end this one-off series. For the MLS Cup Final, we will be taking on Houston Dynamo, and this will be our roster. Azard, Hernandez, Hulk up top, Erickson and Alonzo in the middle, and then Butner, Birnbaum, Ramos, Alvarado, and Lennon with Bono between the sticks. So as you saw on the stadium, I named it the Tesla Arena, and it's just a lot better than what they're probably going to name it, and it's probably going to look better than what the uh, design looks at the moment. It honestly... It looks exactly like a vagina. Like, it was a bad idea to make it pink and have all those ripples. Like, I know they were going for the flamingo look, but it looks like a bunch of labia lips. It's it's really bad. So we'll be... Oh, no, just a free kick. Never mind. Oh, and it hits off the post! Oh, man, we were so close. Erickson. Alonzo. Out wide to Lennon, wide open, has a chance for a cross, he'll get one in, maybe a chance, header! No! No! Another great chance, hits off the crossbar. It's already, Inter-Miami have been, they've just been out guns blazing, Erickson. Out wide, Butner. With a cross, something maybe, yes! Finally, Chicharito, the guy that I said I was going to take off right away, does get the header from the Butner cross. And now with just 10 minutes remaining in the first half, we are looking fine and dandy. Before we start off with the second half, we do have an issue. Azart has taken a bit of a knock. And as much as I would want to keep him in for this MLS Cup final, he has been non-existent, not only in this game, but the previous game we played with Atlanta United. So I'm going to give the start to Wayne Morgan up top, uh, our guy that we drafted in the MLS Super Draft. We'll just give him a try, and then we'll put Emmanuel Sabi, the pacey Emmanuel Sabi, as you see, 95 sprint speed, 96 acceleration, as our left winger. Chance for a cherry on top here, as Erickson. Do we go for that type of kick, or no? Nah, we'll we'll go for the cross here. Oh, there's a chance! Oh! Lands straight to Payne, but he taps it right to Derek. One last chance here for Houston. Saren. I think they're just going to waste their time here. They're not really getting the ball down. As Struna going against Alonzo. He'll find it, and that will be the end. We are victorious in our one-season challenge. We do, in fact, win the MLS Cup with just a goal from Javier Hernandez. Chicharito getting the header from the Butner cross. So now we will watch the celebration here as David Beckham is a happy man sitting in his brand spanking new stadium winning not only the Supporter Shield but the MLS Cup. And it was worth the price considering that he spent millions and millions of dollars getting not only Eden Hazard, he got Christian Eriksen as well as Chicharito, Hulk, oh yeah, and Sergio Ramos as it will be the Cuban captain, Ozzy Alonso, lifting up the trophy. And yeah, who, what a better person, an absolute veteran of the MLS. If there was an MLS Hall of Fame, I think he will be elected. I, not quite first ballot, but he will be there for sure. So here we go, Inter-Miami. Inter our MLS champions. Before we go, we'll take a look at the awards as well as some of our stats. And starting off, the MVP of the entire competition goes to Columbus Crew's Joshi Zardes. Yeah, he was the Golden Boot winner, and that makes a lot of sense. A surprise, Alex Bono, our own goalkeeper, does win the Golden Glove for his great performances in the playoffs. Pretty much he jumped over Zach Steffen to get that award. 
And then, as I said, Josh Uzardes does get the golden boot. And then the team of the competition, we had Bono, Butner, as well as Beesler, Lennon, Azard, Erickson, and that rounds it up. So a solid showing for Inter Miami in the team of the season. So yes, this will be the end of this one-off series. I just wanted to you know, change up the tempo here of the channel. If you guys want to see more of these one-off type series, I'm for it. You know, it's a lot less work for me, and uh, they're a lot more fun. As, uh, yeah, it was just fun just to do something different. So, yes, this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as you're playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. This has been Bear Hams, and as always, toodaloo.